cute, silly, and suited for apartment life. The Pompsky is a dog who likes to be the center of attention, and with their adorable looks and playful antics, they often get the adoration they crave. This designer breed, mixed between Siberian Husky and Pomeranian parents, hasn't stopped them from earning popularity with dog lovers. Unfortunately, those who rush to buy Pomsky puppies from breeders are often overwhelmed and unprepared for their needs. And dogs of this breed sometimes find themselves left at shelters or with rescue groups. But don't worry, in this list today, we are counting down the top 10 facts that you might not have known about the Pomsky. Number 1. Their History the history of the Pumsky dog breed isn't a long one, mostly because the breed was recently designed and created through artificial insemination. Since the breed is so new, the most standards of how it should look or traits that it should have still haven't been established. It'll take several more years and generations of dogs before the breed is recognized and standards are formed. The Pumsky Club of America is one group that is working to get the breed officially recognized, though the dogs will still have to be bred for specific, consistent traits before this can happen. At this time, Pumskys can vary greatly alien looks and temperament. If you're interested in getting a Pomsky, there's no reason you have to rely on a breeder of designer dogs. Keep an eye on shelters near you and you can take a look at Pomeranian and Siberian Husky Rescue groups as they sometimes try to find homes for mixes of those breeds. Number 2. Pomsky is an expensive designer dog. The Pomsky is a designer breed of dog that is a hybrid of the Pomeranian and Siberian Husky. Adorable Pomsky puppies have attracted a lot of attention recently and made them one of the most popular breeds as of 2017. Due to the size difference of the parent dogs, Pomskys are almost always bred by artificial insemination, as natural breeding would be unsafe. This is an expensive process, which means the breeders charge a lot of money for Pomskys. Number 3. No one can guarantee how big a full-grown Pomsky will be. The Pomeranian Husky's size is one of the key things that makes them so popular, or better said, what most people know about them is their size. However, fans cannot be blamed for that. Most images online show cute, fluffy puppies and you rarely get to see an adult Pomsky in a relevant picture that shows how big she can actually get. Pomsky's full-grown size can be as much as 15 inches high and reach up to 30 pounds. These dogs grow up like all other pets and tend to lose much of their baby Husky looks. So if the only reason you're planning to buy this dog is because she's small and cute, you should start thinking seriously about long-term responsibilities. Breeders are confident about the fact that they'll obtain Pomskys smaller than 10 pounds, but the fact is that no one can guarantee their weight and size, and your fluffy puppy might reach dimensions closer to a medium-sized dog, rather than that of a lab dog. Number 4. Pomskys are energetic and playful. They need to play, walk, run, or do any of such kind of activities. Therefore, the masters are suggested to provide the high-quality variety of food that can supplement all their nutritional needs. Dry kibbles are rich in proteins and have low carbohydrate content. Apart from that, you can give your puppies different vegetables, whole grain food and meat, which can fulfill the vitamin and protein needs, as well as fibers. Number 5. They shed a lot. Pomskys have a soft, fluffy double coat that requires lots of brushing to maintain. The thick coat keeps them very comfortable in cold temperatures. Pomskys tend to shed a lot, and although brushing helps, you can still expect to find hair around the home. Coat colors vary much like the breed's Pomeranian and Husky parents. They come in gray and white, brown or reddish brown, blue, pure white, and more. Nails should be trimmed every few weeks and teeth should also be brushed daily, as the breed is prone to dental problems. Number 6. They love digging. Pomsky loves to dig, so it's not suggested to leave this breed alone for a long time in the yard. If they get bored, they can even find themselves a way to escape. Try to give them attention and take them for regular walks. Pomskys have moderate exercise needs that should be satisfied with at least one good walk per day. They can have high energy and may need some extra play sessions before they relax. Number 7. They are hard to train. Training can be tough, as Pomskys inherit stubbornness from the Siberian Husky, but they should be fine with learning new things if you provide them with food motivators and plenty of praise. Pomskys are often wary of small children who may not be properly trained on how to handle animals and they can nip if they feel uncomfortable or threatened. Socialization is very important and it should begin at an early age. Pomskys can be nervous around strangers if they haven't been properly socialized. Number 8. They get along really well with other animals. Pomskys can get along with other dogs if they are socialized, especially if they have been raised with them. Though the high prey drive that they inherit from the husky means they might like to give chase to smaller animals like cats, so it is best to socialize them early, especially if you plan to have them in a household with children and other pets. Number 9. You gotta do some research before buying a Pomsky. 
all dogs should come from responsible breeders only, but with Pomskis, this is an absolute must. That being said, this mixed breed is a relatively new, they don't have official standards and breeders have little experience compared to other dogs. So if you want to have a healthy Pomsky puppy with certified origins, you should buy it from a person who puts their dog's health before personal profits. Never buy a Pomsky from a pet store, even if it's a bargain. Everything you save on your initial purchase will go in medical expenses and extra training sessions. Instead, call an official organization and ask for references for registered breeders in your area. You might have to wait a year for your very own Pomsky puppy, but this is the only way you'll get reliable information about your future dog's parents, and you'll have an idea about how your Pomsky will develop. Number 10. Most Pomskis end up in shelter homes. The desire for Pomskis only encourages breeders to meet demand, leaving dogs in shelters without homes. Additionally, many people buy Pomskis because they are cute puppies, but they find themselves unprepared for the responsibility of owning a dog, especially one with a Pomsky's specific needs. Backyard breeders also take advantage of Pomsky mania by cranking out puppies and selling them cheaply to buyers without guaranteeing health or breed purity. Be wary of those offering cheap or free Pomsky puppies and consider adopting from a shelter or rescue instead. Several Pomskis have ended up in shelters or with rescue because people give them up when they realize they aren't ready to meet a Pomsky's needs. So it shouldn't be too long before you find one available for adoption. Alright, that's the end of our list. Thanks for watching the video. But before you leave, tell us what specific characteristic your Pomsky has. Or if you don't have one, are you planning to get it in the future? Let us know in the comments below. For more videos like this, click on our channel. And of course, don't forget to subscribe.